They say lightning never strikes the same place twice, but what happens if it strikes once? Hey guys, Leanne at the National Weather Service. There are a lot of myths out there about lightning, and did you know it can strike you in ways you never thought possible? You could get struck walking your dog, or even just standing on your porch. The fact is, lightning is more dangerous than you think. And just to let you know, lightning can strike the same place twice. Lightning strikes the United States about 25 million times a year, and of the hundreds that are severely injured, about 49 people die. Interestingly enough, lightning and tornadoes are similarly as dangerous and as deadly. A common misconception is that all lightning strikes are fatal. Good news is, that's not true. Researchers in the lightning safety community say that 90% of people struck by lightning survive. Of those that do survive, some are left with lifelong neurological problems. Also, a study published in the Journal of Neurologic Clinics state that the primary cause of lightning death is cardiac arrest. Basically, your heart and your breathing stops and you lose consciousness. Now let's move on to something even more striking. Lightning is a sudden discharge of electricity from the cloud, the ground, and the air. It can even occur in other instances like volcanic eruptions, but for our sake, we'll just stick to thunderstorms. True or false? Lightning only occurs underneath a thunderstorm. False. Ever heard of a bolt from the blue? Lightning can actually travel 10 miles or more horizontally from a storm. In 2001, two guys were playing football on a beach in New Jersey under sunny skies when a lightning bolt from a thunderstorm offshore struck and killed one of them. Okay, okay. You're probably thinking right now, I get it, lightning's dangerous, but how can I protect myself and my family from it? All right, let's go over a few steps. If you are expected to be outdoors, plan ahead. Check the latest forecast at weather.gov and click on the location that you're interested in going to. If there's a better weather day, that's a better option. When out and about, have a game plan on what action you'll take if lightning threatens. Have a shelter in mind of where you will want to go to. It needs to be a building with at least four walls, a roof, wiring, like a home, a school, a church, or an office building. But stay away from pipes, metal objects, showers, sinks, bathtubs, and electrical equipment such as stoves, radios, corded telephones, and computers. Another shelter would be any fully enclosed metal top vehicle. But don't even think about that golf cart. You wouldn't stand a chance. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have any shelter. What do you do then? Well, my fellow Weather Service colleague and lightning specialist, John Jensenius, suggests if you're in a group, spread out. Avoid open areas. Try not to be the tallest object in the area and do not be near tall or isolated trees. However, keep in mind there are no safe places outside in a thunderstorm. Watch for clues of an approaching or developing thunderstorm. If you hear thunder, the storm is already close enough that lightning could strike you and you need to get to shelter immediately. Once in a safe shelter, stay there for 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder. Puffy white clouds that don't change much shouldn't cause any worries. If these clouds start to grow upwards towards space, you should be prepared to take shelter from lightning. This is a thunderstorm cloud and you should seek shelter immediately. Now here are some common outdoor activities that people participate in, and you tell me if you would be safe from lightning. A day at the golf course. Mm. Watching a thunderstorm from your porch. Mm. Boating. Mm. Mowing your lawn. Mm. Whoa, that was enlightening. Now here are some real life examples of what people were doing when they got struck by lightning in recent years. Some of these common activities might surprise you. Sheltering under trees, fishing, on a boat, riding a motorcycle, mountain climbing, hiking, football practice, hauling hay in a tractor, kids on bikes, standing in the doorway, taking out the garbage, mowing the lawn, inside talking on a landline phone, walking dog, standing next to a window, playing organ in a church, and doing something as simple as getting a book from their vehicle. As we like to say at the National Weather Service, when thunder roars, go indoors. For more information, go to lightningsafety.noaa.gov. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Mm -hmm.